Hello guys, this is Brian here with the video, with the bad news video. Uh, today is December the 17th, 2015, and please bear a bit with me. I'm on some painkillers and a muscle relaxer, and this is the reason why. Um, I went to the neurologist's office today and found out I got some not very good test results from the MRI. Uh, so let me give you a little bit of background on why I ended up at the neurologist's office. Um, the last four to five migraines I had, I usually get maybe one or two migraines a year. So it was manageable because I took Amitrex and if that didn't work, I ended up going to the emergency room. Well, the last couple migraines I had this year and the one I had last, um, I think I had one back in October and ended up in the emergency room and they finally told me, because the Amatrex made it worse that the doctor gave me. I, I take the pill and the pill doesn't work. I take the the uh, auto-injector thingy, this thing. This thing hurts. That doesn't work. I had to go to the emergency room and get some pain relief and, and a cocktail of drugs. If you ever suffer from migraines or cluster headaches, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and they, the emergency room doctor finally said, I'm more f refer you to a neurologist because what they can do versus what a, pr a primary care doctor do not treat them, treat migraines correctly versus what a neurologist can. A neurologist will do a complete lab work, work up and imaging to get down to the bottom what causes the migraines. But every time I had a migraine, I noticed that my neck and upper back was like real tight and hurt and painful. Um, I thought, well, maybe just because I'm, I'm tensed up because of the migraine. Well, I went to the neurologist's office last week, you know, the consultation, and they did um, some lab work there. And they also did like a nerve test where they stick like a little tiny needle in your hand and one in your neck, somewhere around there. He said the machine possibly shows something pinched nerve on my left hand side so he went ahead and ordered an MRI of my brain and neck so that took place on Thursday of last week um, if you ever need an MRI on an outpatient basis go to one that's not connected to the hospital because they will get you in faster and it's cheaper um, this is my second time I use because the uh, one where I went for my shoulder inside the hospital, it took them forever to call me back. They charged my insurance company around seven thousand dollars. Of course, I think Blue Cross paid four thousand dollars of it. And then the one I had outpatient at the same place, the imaging place, it was like under a thousand dollars they got paid. Really cheaper. <laughs> Um, plus, they get you in and out faster in the hospital. You know, the, the hospital is so, un, you know, so um, inefficient. And um, the the thing on the MRI, they put thing over your face, and they put one over my neck. And I'd sit there for two hours, and that's starting to hurt really bad. And I noticed also my neck it was kind of hurting off and on, and my upper back. Also, ever since I had that pneumonia, um, because you know, I think you know, I told you I fell in the hospital, and then I was just coughing to death, and then that pain it was just really hurting really bad after I got up from the MRI table and went home. And I called them up on Monday because originally um, my appointment, uh, they were going to call me. I think they wanted. The week after Christmas, I said, you know, my neck just hurts really bad. I need to see the doctor this week. And they said, okay, we'll get you in. <laughs> well, guess what? No wonder my neck's been hurting really bad since the MRI. Um, <laughs> the bad news is they found four discs that were bulging out. Um, it's the C3-4, C4-5. C5-6 and C6-7 and the upper in the neck on the left towards the left hand side. So that's why I can't feel like a pinched nerve. 
uh, while I was in there <laughs> at the neurologist's office, my plastic surgeon called to let me know they can get my thigh pla my thigh left done on the 24th of November uh, of Christ day before Christmas, 24th of December. Uh, last week I was at the neurologist. They gave me some medications for the migraines. No big deal there. They gave me this. Uh, wheel packs. This is supposed to be better than Emitrex. And also... Perodrin. P-R-O-D-R-I-N. As well. You have to take one or the other. Um, and this, and he said, this is what's causing your migraines lately, because the it, the nerve it pinches, the muscle gets tightened up. So today they gave me Flexeril, Tramadol, a high dose of Tramadol. Those things that work called, and then they would give me something different. Um, but what I found out today when I went, they told me when I was checking out that they're not going to be taking the Blue Cross HMO next year. Um, they changed their mind. Uh, I guess when I went there originally, they were on the list for next year, but they're not anymore. Um, the, they, the, the lady told me that their reimbursement was so low, it, it, would, it was lower than Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, I think she was telling me a, a primary care doctor get, would get more in reimbursement than he would have been. So that's also a problem. I called Blue Cross Blue Shield and asked them, "Can I, you know, can I get?" Uh, because this in my letters I've been getting because they're searching from PPO to HMO, there is a thing that's a continuation of care. Um. I got them right before the close, so the lady didn't really know about that. So I have to call back tomorrow morning and see about that. And eventually, I have to have physical therapy. Um, I have to go see a pain management doctor because usually they would treat this with massive doses of steroids, like with prednisone, anti-inflammatory medications, and all of that. But of course, had gastric bypass, I can't take that. Uh, they they want to do heavy, heavy dosages. Uh, you know, with the gastric bypass, you have to take the caraphate, the, um, some other one with the anti ulcer medicine, and lots of heartburn medicine. And she said, well, since you have gastric bypass, we, don't, we, we absolutely do not want to attempt that at all with that kind of medication. Um, because, that, you know, you, we don't want you to get an ulcer. Um, so I had to go see a pain management doctor so they can do a steroid injection in my neck. This is not good. Uh, she said, you do need to get this taken care of. However, this is something that does not have to be done tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not life-threatening. Um, you're not going to be you're not gonna become paralyzed or anything like that. Now, I could if I can, you know, if I lift up a whole bunch of heavy things and continue doing that. That can cause further injury that way, yeah. Uh, she said, I don't lift anything anymore until you get all this taken care of. Um, and, and eventually, if that doesn't, if the, if, the, if, the, if the physical therapy and the pain medicine and the injections don't work, I eventually would have to go see a neurosurgeon to get that fixed. Um, which, I might go ahead and you get that. When I when I go see my primary care doctor, I'm gonna to have to get that done because they're just a neurologist. They don't specialize in this, so um, kind of scared too, you know. Uh, because since Blue Cross is switching from PPO to HMO, I'm gonna to have to go back to the primary care doctor to get all these referrals. So if I have known this last week, I would have switched to a PPO plant like with Baylor, Scott and White, or maybe Cigna. Because I did find out that um, that my thigh my thigh lift was approved on Friday, but they didn't tell me the day of scheduling until today. 
because I didn't know if the doctor would, you know, if the plastic surgeon would get me this calendar year, or maybe a couple, you know, early couple weeks of January. If that would have happened, that would have caused another problem with Blue Cross. So that's why I kind of stayed with Blue Cross because of that. <laughs> um, and of course, you don't know if I have, you know, I, you know, I could have complications after surgery. You never ever know. Um, so, so I think my game plan will be go ahead and have my five. I, I, I'm gonna have to have my five, uh, the five left done anyway because that's already been set with Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And that's already been set with the plastic surgeon. So I've been taken care of. So it's so I'm gonna have to do with that. Uh, so that's not a she said I can do that that's not a problem but I think my game plan will be since I'm going to be off for a month go ahead and go back to my primary care doctor go ahead and get a referral to his pain management specialist and go to the neurosurgeon and see what they say um, I really don't want to fit a far around with physical therapy I have done that with my shoulder before and ended up having surgery anyway it just prolongs it um, but she said this is something you don't play around with either, so, you know. Oh, they also did the lab work. Uh, my blood work came okay. They said my B12 was a little bit low. Um, I told them I forgot. Lately, I've been forgetting to take my NASCAR B12. I'm supposed to be taking it even once a week, but I've just been busy doing with this um, crap. Um, getting my thigh lift done, um, and life happens. And, you know, she said, you know, since, you know, you know how to take care of the problem, we're not concerned about that. Um, because I've seen the doctor, I've seen the doctor today, in, as well as the PA. And the PA was the one who came in and, and the doctor explained what I need to do. But the PA kind of says she, she, they will, she's the one who coordinates everything and, and gets the medications and all this and... So I seen the doctor and the PA and then the receptionist. And, um, but it kind of aggravates me that they're not going to be taking the cross. I haven't known that. I would have gone to a different neurologist. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I guess the silver line is they did discover a problem uh, that I've been walking around with. They say it's not a new injury. It's been there for a while. Um, I mean, it's not like, it, you know, they could tell it didn't happen to over, you know, last week or something like that. It happened months ago. So, that's one good thing. Um, what else? Also, they gave me, I think I said, they gave me Flexro. They gave me pain medicine. Um, once I, they said once I get all this, you know, once this calms down, gets this situated, I shouldn't be having all these migraines. You know, I should, you know, go back to my normal maybe once or twice a year. Um, I tell you what, folks, this Obamacare is a disaster. And then Blue Cross switching from PPO to HMO is a fucking disaster as well. Um, I'm gonna have to call them again tomorrow because when I call them, the lady didn't really know what I was talking about. But I'm a, all, the letter, all these letters have been getting about this. They say if you have a certain medical problem, that they will, and your doctor gets out of the network, they will try to coordinate care uh, or do a waiver. Um, but I guess, like I said, I guess my game plan will be. Once I get my, you know, once I heal up from the ply lift, you know, like a week or two, I go to the primary care doctor, get those referrals set up. Because I don't know, I honestly, I don't know how long a HMO referrals take. I really don't. If y'all have a HMO, let me know how long those referrals take. Um, I don't know if they take weeks on hand or they just do it instantly over the phone or online and, you know, it takes a couple of days to approve. I, I don't know. Um... It's amazing. I wasn't like I said. My neck and back's been bothering me, but nothing like I came out of that MRI machine. And I'm kind of thinking maybe that, maybe I got injured there. I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, I've been in severe pain since last Thursday. Um, but she said it's okay to have your thigh lift done. 
things like that. But like I said, if I have known this was going to go down like this, <laughs> I would have chosen a PPL plan that I wouldn't have to push it front around. Because if I choose a PPL plan, uh, my doc, my primary care doctor will not be taking any other exchange plans. That's another problem I would have to face. Oh, so many problems with Obamacare. If y'all have any questions, comments, please just let me know. Talk to y'all later.